Have you ever tried to send a video to a friend or family member only to be met with that dreaded message, file too large to upload? We've all been there, right? It's such a frustrating feeling you get that nothing's going right and you just want to throw your computer out the window. Well, my friends, fear not. You don't have to throw your computer out the window because today I'm going to show you how to take those bloated video files and put them on a serious diet using Wondershare UniConverter's video compression tool. Imagine being able to share those precious memories or hilarious clips without having to worry about file size limits or clogged inboxes. It's a game changer, guys, I promise you. So let's dive in and we're going to learn how to tame those video file beasts. First, I'll launch the Wondershare Uni Converter application on my computer. And once it's open, I'll click on the compressor tab at the top. Now, this will take me to the compression window. And next, I'm just going to click on the Add Files button and select the video file that I want to compress. The video will now appear in my compressor window, and Wondershare will automatically select an amount of compression that will greatly reduce the file size while also maintaining the quality of the video. But if you want to manually adjust the amount of compression, just click on the output file and then adjust the slider to select more or less compression. Now keep in mind Wondershare puts a green region in the middle which is basically the sweet spot giving you enough compression while also keeping the quality of your video. You also have the option to choose the output file type and I'm going to stick with MP4. Now for those of you who are more technical, you can click on the advanced settings icon next to the output format and this will open the video settings window. So here I can adjust various parameters to compress the file size and under the video codec section, I'll change the codec to H264 and reduce the resolution and bitrate settings. The lower the resolution and bitrate, the smaller the file size will be, but it may also impact the video quality. Now, once I've made all the necessary adjustments, I'll just click OK to apply the settings and back in the main compressor window, I'll click on the file location button to select an output folder for the compressed video file. Finally, I'll click on the compress button to start the compression process. Wondershare UniConverter will now compress the video file according to the settings that I've chosen. And once the compression is complete, I'll have a smaller file size version of my original video ready to be shared or stored more efficiently. That's it. That's all it is to it. With Wondershare UniConverter's video compression tool, compressing video file sizes is super easy, okay? No more file size frustrations or miss sharing opportunities. You don't have to throw your computer out the window. Just give it a try and enjoy the benefits of smaller, more manageable video files that won't make your email or messaging app cry for mercy. That's it for me, guys. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next one.